Do you do, you do a lot of acid also? No, I've only done half a hit in my whole life. Are you afraid of that? No, no. I was, I was, I did it with a very good friend, and she and I, we we had a good trip until this other guy tripped with us a little bit later, uh-huh. and we were both afraid because we both thought that he was going to rape us. <laughs> rape both of you? Yeah, yeah. He's pretty sketchy. That's a. I mean, he's an equal opportunity rapist. <laughs> I mean, yes. Ambidextrous. Ambidextrous rapist. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I've never met a rapist like that. Uh, You're a privileged individual to be hanging out with such talented people. <laughs> I guess I am. I'm never going to trip with them again, though. So do you think he would rape uh, your lady friend first or you? I don't know. It's hard to tell. He's a little on the sweet side. He's He's got sugar in his britches, you're trying to tell me. <laughs> Too much sugar in his cornflakes. Yes. <laughs> hmm. Do they say that in California? He's got sugar in his britches. Yeah, it it means you're gay. (sighs) But I think you should do some more of that special K. Because, you know, it can induce an out-of-body experience. I've had, I've I've been in a K-hole. Yeah? Yeah. How how big is your (laughs) K-hole? How big is my K-hole? <laughs> what can it accommodate? Well, I'm just saying, um, John. <laughs> what, what can I put in my K-hole? Yeah, what can you fit in your K-hole? <laughs> That's dirty. <laughs> That's dirty. You're telling me you have a dirty K-hole? <laughs> no, I'm calling you dirty. <laughs> Are you really going to put this shit on the internet? Um... Yeah, no. you're dirty. No. I'm gonna put your dirty K hole on the internet. No, you're gonna title it "Dirty K Hole." Oh no! I'm gonna have to like email my mom and tell her like that shit is on the internet. Why would you do that? Then she would know how much drugs you're doing and how your K hole's dirty. Dude, she doesn't care. Your mom doesn't, doesn't care. No. Why not? She'd probably think it's funny. <laughs> She'd probably go, were you really high? No, she... Are you recording this? I told you I I am. Wait, so every phone call that you answer, it gets recorded? No, uh, only ones I... I actually started this one a little bit into it after I figured out that you had sugar in your drawers. And I... uh, (laughs) I had sugar in my drawers? Yeah. How did you come to that conclusion? Well, I mean... You're, you're, I thought the rapist had sugar in his drawers. Well, he does, but the fact that you were fantasizing about him raping you? Oh, uh, I wasn't fantasizing, dude. I was so scared. Well, I was scared. Was, was he doing anything that would lead you to believe he wanted to rape you, or was this something? Yeah, kind of. I mean, you know, when you're tripping and somebody, like, follows you around a room, it's not a very big room, but every yeah. time you move, they follow you. Yeah, that's... So yeah, what I'm saying is this is revealing something about your subconscious mind is that he probably didn't want to rape you, but you have that idea that he wants to rape you. I'm saying this might be a repressed fantasy of yours. Actually, rape is not one of the repressed fantasies of mine. I, I know all about my repressed fantasies. You do? Uh-huh. Well, that wouldn't make it necessarily repressed, would it? No, it wouldn't. So I guess that I don't have any repressed fantasies anymore. You did before. Do you have sugar in your riches? No. um, No. Well, there's that one in ten chance that if I call somebody randomly that they do have sugar in their riches. That's happened before, too. That's the statistic. It is. I mean, one in ten. That's that's the official statistic. It's probably higher because people don't want to admit to it. Well, there is um, the... uh, Everyone has a certain amount of homosexuality in them. Right, and it right. uh, just depends where on the spectrum they fall. Like a lot of my friends, we have this thing we do for good luck, and it's not that we're gay, but we rub penises for good luck. And um, oh, really? But it's it's not homosexual at all. Okay, it's just uh, one of those things you do for good luck. That's kind of fucked up. Even I don't do that. Well, I mean, do you need good luck? No, I I, I guess I'm pretty lucky anyway. And, you know, I'll, uh, I love a man, but 
I love him not like a homo. I love him like a cowboy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Does that mean you love him with chaps on? Of course, chaps is for. So you can love a man as long as you don't love him like a homo. You love him like a cowboy. You love him like a real man. Is that it? Yes. And so I'm not a homo. I mean, no sugar. sugar. I maybe have a. I don't know. A, I don't know if you would call it seasoning salt in my britches, but it's a, dis a distinct flavor, not necessarily sweet, but still delicious. 